is Jeremy Neal at Big Sound and you're with the AU Review. Um, well, I suppose welcome to Big Sound, even though this is in your beautiful city. How's the week been for you so far? Uh, the week's been, I guess, pretty hectic. It was kind of like, like, it's those times like every year I'm like, I gotta save myself for my showcase. And then uh, ended up playing like a show with Velociraptor on Tuesday night, which meant I ended up staying out to like 5am like an idiot and then didn't really have a voice yesterday and kind of got a voice back today slightly so I'm like I'm stressing less and that's that's been my big sound though it's been active it's been great it's my favorite time of the year there's just always a lot of pressure with the whole playing thing I guess yeah sure I mean being you know from Brisbane how you know how you how do you manage to kind of not become totally overwhelmed when big sound is on because it's just like the city just get like the valley just gets transformed into like this chaotic hub well yeah i mean it's exciting because it's chaotic and busy but it's full of the best people yeah. whereas like the fortitude valley nightlife um at other times is full of the worst people <laughs> yeah. so it's kind of like oh my gosh it's like it's partying in utopia it's like yeah. it's like the weezer cruise but it's in fortitude valley <laughs> so um. and you know i've, I've I mean, we've been able to see people who you might spend most of your year just emailing and, you know, you never get to meet up yeah. with. So They're I not mean, just robots, you, man. They're I real know, people. I know, They're not gremlins. But um, for the bands especially, like, just being able to have your mates in town for a few nights of debauchery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can't... Because there's, like, so many people you've met throughout, like, music nationally as well. It's, like, it takes, like, two hours to walk from, like one area of the mall yeah. to the other because it's like oh I haven't seen you in like six months I haven't seen you in like two years it's yeah. like yeah it's pretty exciting in that yeah. regard I mean it's kind of making me look ahead to the Blurst of Times Festival which is like yeah. the lineup is pretty sick out of control Jesse Barbera did good yeah, yeah. yeah he did um, <laughs> obviously you've got the. I mean you've got Velociraptor you've got the hard-ons creases like DZ are coming back for it. I mean, how are you anticipating that whole East Coast run now? Because it's just expanded. Yeah, um, I mean, it's pretty exciting. I mean, as well, like I've been added as a solo artist to the bill, which means I got to play two sets in a night. So it's another like, <laughs> will the voice hold up kind of yeah. thing. But like, good that we can do it while we're there. Um, but yeah, it's just exciting. It's so exciting to have something. Like, it, I mean, it's only done one year in Brisbane first. It kind of like felt like some of this, one of those things that you might've had to do like for four years yeah. locally before you could take it on the road. Yeah. But it's just because there's so much like, you know, there's so much East Coast attention. As soon as it was announced, everyone's like, holy crap, I wish this was in my city. And yeah. now it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of cool, like, thinking about <clears throat> how Australian festivals have been developing or, you know, even kind of retreating a little bit or falling down that these festivals that have such good lineups curated yeah. are still able to, gr- you know, grow legs and, you know, head out of their home state and it's a switch of like i guess yeah, obviously it's the rise of the boutique festival but it's also like the element that that's so good it's like these bands are bands that target people who love music generally yeah. therefore you can avoid the worst kind of people that go to festivals yeah, yeah. it's the same as why like you know a festival like laneway still works yeah. because it's bands that are targeted at people who like music yeah. and so therefore you've got a good a good crowd it's mm. not a i don't know I don't want to generalise, but sometimes there's festival crowds are pretty yeah. much just bros who want to show how big their guns are and yeah. couldn't care less about the music. Yeah, so for sure, for it's sure. it's nice that this stuff is happening. It's definitely going to be an exciting an exciting few days of music. Yeah, um, I can only hope your voice is holding up by the end of that. <laughs> oh, I, got, I got this every time. It's like I always compare it to like. I don't know, it's really naff to use a Dragon Ball Z reference, but every time the Saiyans get beat down, like, they come back way stronger, and that's why my voice is, like, just take it to the max, and it comes back, it's, like, next level. Yeah, So yeah. awesome. Um, well, so you've got your Big Sound Showcase tonight. Yes, at uh, Alumbra at 10.30pm. Um, can we be any, expecting any kind of new material you might be working on? Um, yeah, you know, like, to put it in, in statistics, because, like, you know, uh, it's 25% of the set yeah. is new material. Wow, um, cool. I'll leave that for people to figure out, but that probably means there's eight songs in the set and two of them are new. Um, <laughs> or it means there's uh, 16 songs in the set yeah. and uh, four of them are new. Mm-hmm. There's not 16 songs in the set. Uh, a dash. Yeah. A dash. Uh, but the two new songs can be pretty fun. Um, yeah. I've got, um, you know, it's showcasing what's coming up in the new material. Uh, I think it's taking a more, I guess, a more contemporary twist, not, not so revivalist, more so like, but still a lot of, I'm pulling a lot of stuff from the 80s, I guess, mm-hmm. uh, Prince. Cool. Phil Collins, that's a really naff reference, but I, f- I really love Phil. Um, so it's that, with the male-female dynamics, I've got Phoebe um, 
I'm Off, who was from Go Violets, mm-hmm. doing all the female lead duties awesome. across these new songs. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a party. I've got a guest sax guy playing as well, so yeah, it's love making music. Oh, hell yeah, way to kind of finish up big sound on the final night. That's right. Bring out the sax, <laughs> Get sensitive. Saxophone. Um, and I suppose finally looking ahead to the end of the year, I mean, what, what have you got coming up that you can tell us about? Uh, well, I guess it would be back on the trail um, with uh, a new solo single coming out um, in probably five or six weeks' time. Cool. Um, so get back on the road and, um, yeah, make a difference. <laughs> make Maybe. a difference. Make a difference. To the world. Um, well, look, ma'am, we can only wish you the best of luck for tonight. No doubt it's going to be quite a loose party. And oh, um, we'll you. see you out there soon. Yeah, sounds good. Thank no you. Worries. See you soon.